hi friends welcome to this year's first ever youtube video i know i was missing for a while i was really unwell and i couldn't make any videos so here i am uh, let's start with this year's first video so today i'm going to review shills professional stamping gel polish kit so i was seeing this uh, brand all over my instagram page and i thought why not try it so i purchased this stamping gel polish kit and that's what we are going to review today so before we start if you are new here here i make nail related videos nail art nail extension nail product review anything and everything related to nails so please consider subscribing to my channel and if you are already a subscribed user then thank you for all your support um so let's begin with the video as i mentioned in the beginning this is a stamping gel polish kit and basically you will get all the things that is required to do the stamping except for the uv lamp and this product is made in china i bought it from a instagram reseller and this is uh, she was selling it for like 1600 rupees if you wanted to get the details of the seller please uh, leave a comment and now let's just quickly open it and see what are the things inside inside the package as you can see we have a small pamphlet where we have the brand name on one side and on the other side we have a detailed instruction on how to use this particular product so you can simply follow this instruction and you can make it work and also we have the list of all the ingredients used in this particular product and apart from that we have six different colors uh, tubes of gel and it's white black uh, silver purple emerald green and uh, a blue so these are the colors and these are 8 ml tubes so you can just directly uh, you know use this product onto the stamping plate from the tube itself apart from the tube uh, we also have a small stamper head so this is what it is you can't really pick up any big design but this is good for like small nails you can just pick up small small designs and we also have like two small tiny plastic dots i thought there is a plastic covering or something for the stamper head but it was just two dots i don't know um uh, and uh, there is a small crack also but anyways i'm ignoring that part overall the stamper looks decent it should work now we have a scraper this i no longer use this kind of uh, scrapers but let's see and then we have two stamping plates so these are like really cute designs so there are two stamping plates so these are the content inside that package So to test this these products I have a couple of items here not everything is on the camera but I have a few items around me at first uh, we need to clean the stamping uh, stamper head so for that I'm using a lint roll I'm just uh, rolling it over if there is anything uh, then it will clean it and then we can start using the stamper The stamper is ready to go. Now let's have a look at the stamping plate. So as you can see it comes in a plastic uh, cover and you have to just remove it from the plastic cover and then if you see there is a protective film on top of the stamping plate which again we need to remove. Some people they forget it and they try to stamp the uh, image but it will never work if you have this film on top of the stamping plate. So remove it and then it will be ready to go. I'm going to start with the black color. I normally prefer black black stamping images so i extensively use black color when it comes to stamping nail art so that's what i'm going to start with when you open the tube this is how the tip looks like so you can directly apply the stamping polish onto the uh, images just the way i'm showing on the screen Uh, another thing when you are using stamping gel you don't need a lot of uh, gel on top of the image you only need a very little and then you can use your scraper to spread it across uh, the entire image um so this is how you are going to do you don't need like a lot of uh, product uh, just a little and then you can pick up the image i'm using the same stamper head that came with the box and this is how i got the image Uh, i can't say it did not pick up but i it did not pick up entirely whatever i got it was very crisp but uh, obviously i need the entire image uh, the stamper head it's already teeny tiny so it doesn't make any sense so i'm just cleaning it the same lint roll i used to clean it uh, again when you are using stamping gel uh, once you stamp the image you will again uh, you know leave a decent amount of product back on the a stamper head so you can basically reuse it in fact with one uh, pick up you can use it like at least twice uh, i don't prefer that way i pick up 
uh, new every time I want to stamp an image but if you want you can still do that so now let's try the second time another best part about the gel stamping polish is that you get all the time in the world to pick up the image whereas if you're using a regular stamping polish you have to act really fast so i picked up the image second time it wasn't perfect but i'm not mad yet i'm just going to stamp it and see so these are like some acrylic laying practice that one of my students were doing um, but as you can see it's just smudged the image i wasn't putting any pressure but it's still smudged so let's try another one and see this time i'm going to use a bigger stamper so if you see it's a more than double the size so i'm going to use this one uh, now let's see a different color so i picked up the purple one and i'm going to use that flowery image uh, that's a very beautiful cute design uh, so as i mentioned earlier i i put a little uh, product on top of the image and then i'm going to use my scraper to spread the product across the image and then i'm going to try to pick up so now let's see how the bigger stamper is going to work so here we have uh, as you can see the opacity i don't see it so i'm going to try again so maybe i missed something so i'm just going to try again So this time instead of starting from the corner I did it in a different way let's see if this helps again using the scraper to spread the product across and then I'm going to try and pick up the image again the opacity it it is in script so this is not what I wanted but again I'm going to apply it on top of a black base so let's see I can barely see it it's not really like vibrant right so the way we wanted so it was kind of a disappointment uh, but anyways let's try again so this time I'm going back to the original stamper head maybe but I am I know for a fact that the stamper head that I was using that definitely works but let's try this one so here the images are a little more crispy with this smaller one now let's just apply it on top of a clear tip and see how this is coming the black the color wasn't vibrant the way i wanted but here let's see okay transfer decent now let's try the rest of the colors next i'm trying the blue one royal blue uh, it looks beautiful on the plate but the pickup again it's not very opaque now let's just stamp it and see on the black base clear lighter colors we definitely know it's gonna work or it's gonna be visible but on the black again i couldn't see it at all so that means uh, it doesn't work on a darker background so now let's just pick up again and see not very happy it's okay okay so i'm just going to show you here how it's gonna look on the transparent one so there you go that's how it looks i wanted like you know really crisp and bright images when i do the stamping but uh, this is not giving me that result so now let's see the next color this time i tried the silver one silver one again another new challenge i had to face which is it was not coming out of that tube and uh, this silver it never worked it never worked i tried even uh, the next day also i tried to pick up it was not working not on this timber not on the smaller one not on the harder ones no it did not work at all so the silver i'm just going to abandon it so it's going into the dustbin it doesn't work at all so now let's try the uh, try a different color now let's try the white one i'm hoping white will work at least so i applied the product a little bit now let's see how this one goes what a disappointment <laughs> i don't know what to say okay let's not give up let's try one more time i'm using the next image now and i'm going back to the original stamper so this one looked a little decent than the other attempts so now let's just stamp and see i 
I'm not saying anything. I'm just going to leave it up to you guys. <laughs> I had given up on this now. I know maybe some of you might be thinking maybe she doesn't know how to do stamping that's why she's not able to pick up so just to prove you wrong I'm going to use a regular stamping polish just the stamping polish is going to be different rest everything is same same stamping plate same stamper head everything is same just the stamping polish is different so this one is a regular stamping polish from cards one of my favorite stamping polish brand and I'm going to use the same stamper head just to pick up the image so I swiped it and then I'm going to pick it up and here you go you got a very crisp beautiful image and now I'm going to transfer that image onto a clear uh, swatch stick just to show you guys how that is you know easily transferred onto the surface so there you go easily nicely done now I wanted to try that same flower with the same polish so now let's see that this time I'm going to use the tiny stamper head just to see how that one works so if you see the regular polish I used the polish uh, on top of the entire image then I swiped it and then I just gently picked up see how crisp and clear that image is now I am going to stamp this on top of a black paste just to see how, how vibrant this can look this image can look see that's how it should look on a darker base it's it's the images are really good it's just that the polish doesn't work so there you go but let me tell you I did not give up on it I again tried the next day I used a different stamper heads this time it's not a transparent stamper it's a hardcore stamper head it's a very tight stamper head and here I was able to achieve a good effect so if you see I got a very crisp image and I tried all the colors I'm going to put up the pictures here so you can see again the silver color still did not work um, the rest of the colors they worked but uh, if you ask me, I don't think I'm going to recommend this to anyone. The only good thing in this package, the kit is the stamping plate and the stamper is also fine. So, uh, so I don't think I'm going to recommend this to anyone. Don't waste your money. Um, they may have good other products, but this one, it's a flop. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like it, don't forget to like, share, comment, all those good things. And I'll see you soon on my next video. Until then, stay safe, stay happy. Thank you.